The Type 20 was built to inspire, to inspire the use of cutting edge new technologies internally, but also to inspire our customers about what's to come. So like a, what you'd call like a skunk works build project. Uh, this idea of, okay, we should you know, do something for our anniversary. Uh, well, how about like a vintage bus? Okay, that's a cool idea, but what can we do with that? Well, we don't just want to like, just put a new paint job on, a, on an old bus, but so we have to like kind of represent what we want to do in the coming years and, and sort of what we're working on here as well too. A 1962 VW Type 2 was selected because it's undeniably a fan favorite. People have such a strong emotional reaction to these vehicles. Plus, the interior is a great space to work with for interactive prototyping. We wanted to respect the bones of what was there, uh, but we wanted to infuse as much newness within reason as, as we could into it. When you first approach the bus, you're going to see the um, interactive lighting and the suspension motion. Another thing you're going to notice very quickly is the um, mirror supports and the wheels. Those have been designed using a technique called generative or computational design. The generative design is using artificial intelligence through software to redesign parts in an optimized way. In this case, we've used it to create a more optimized and somewhat organic looking structure. Generative design is something that we are actively working on and pursuing here, and it's something that we think is gonna influence the automotive industry for years to come. So this was sort of our first stab at doing a, a bigger piece, a bigger project with generative design. And that's something that could in the future be used to create vehicles that are more lightweight and more material efficient as we're improving our carbon footprint as a whole as a company. If we can be as efficient as possible with our materials and we can not only create cars that are eco-friendly to operate but also more eco-friendly to build. The colors was just like a random thought that, that popped in my head one morning when I was like driving to work and at the time I was driving a GTI in a carbon gray metallic and I was like oh man this would make a fantastic color for the roof of the car and I thought wait a minute like why don't we just take that a step further and choose colors from all of our core brands that are contributors to the, the efforts here and that's the, the same sort of story into the interior too because it's a more public and personable vehicle, we've added um, interaction to the exterior as well. And we've incorporated a, a digital assistant that we've been working on here. Controllable suspension so the bus can just interact in a more physical way. We also have added custom lighting to provide feedback and engagement okay. with people outside the bus as they interact with the digital assistant. Why can't motorcycles hold themselves up? Because they are too tired. I think one of the interesting things that we learned through electrifying the bus is just how flexible electrification can be. The electrification technology as it is now is, I think, a lot more mature than any of us had experienced before. And the flexibility of the electric powertrain really opens up some interesting design opportunities for the future. We found some really excellent partners in Electric GT and Action Vehicle Engineering to help us with the powertrain upgrades and the uh, kind of custom appearance of the vehicle, and a really excellent partner in Autodesk, which was responsible for the generative designed elements. Building the Type 20, uh, I was very fortunate to direct a super dedicated team of um, industrial designers, transportation designers, software engineers, mechanical and electrical engineers. To see the guys really all rally together and, and build something with a common goal in mind, that had to have been the most inspiring thing. In most of Silicon Valley, I think the moment where you experience something that you built or that you worked on takes the form of an app or a website, which is very fulfilling, but there's nothing like actually piloting your own creation. It's part German, it's part unapologetically Californian, and it puts technology first, but with a really emotional story behind it, which is what we try to do here every day.